How can I help? Well, I heard a lot of disturbing news from the wood. Seems like the battle didn't go well. I could see the smoke in the around the river. Officially, no. We lost over a mile and over 130 men. We don't have the support of the Imperium anymore. That's... However, Wait. I'll say this to all of you. It is imperative that the information that we spread out tells people that we fought them just as hard as they fought us. We fought them to a standstill, and we did well. This cannot look like a massive failure. Otherwise, okay. well, it's my head on the chopping block, basically, even though I had nothing to do with this. So if you talk to people, or you hear people no, talking I about understand. it, correct them, disseminate the information, let it know it wasn't a complete fucking failure. Mm. Aside from that. Understood. Do you need anything? Um, well, I want to ask you a question. Is there anything that we can do, the Wood Elves and such, to help you? How many people do you have? <sighs> what is it? Seven? Not a lot. Better like a half. If you count Over everyone half. that is there, less than a dozen. Yeah. We're wanting to know how would you think their next move may be, since you have more intel than we do. Do you think they'll try and push through the Sabine anytime soon? If they, you think they do, we need to start preparing the force to make it more difficult for them. They still have that iron mine. They have a place to rest at in the Sabine. It's entirely possible. We no longer even hold the cross keys. Arn is using rangers and elves that they have to try and slow them down any way that they can, trapping the area, inflicting as much casualty as is possible. We have a plan that will buy us some time. As for you... With 12 people, just protect your home, I suppose. Maybe okay. some light reconnaissance, um, some light scouting that you can't already get from talking to the trees. But other than that, keep your people safe. Okay. I wouldn't ask them to die for this. Um, let me think what else. Uh, on the front with the staff, that's going to take me more time to research. Otherwise, I would say I could make the forest naturally more difficult through the wood, but right now I don't know what its capabilities are, and I don't know much about it. I'm going to have to do some more research on my end. On communing with the older beings that I know of. Um, on a more simple note, I do need another healing potion. I had to use mine yesterday, so when you get to making one of those again, please do let me know. I have an advance, two of them. My I'll, pouch. I'll take one if you don't mind. Seven silver normally, right? Yep. Um, and that is if you can spare it only. Of course. Okay. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, oh. If you hear of anything, because right now, I don't know what the stasis is of you in, in court. Uh with the other nobles. Now that the high elves are out of the castle, out of the keep, if you could talk to Baron Amim, maybe I can get an audience with the Baroness. Take a look, true look into her health condition. I don't know if I can do anything. I don't even know if he'll even let me near her. But with my capabilities, I may be able to look within her. If things turn down bad, like really bad, she might be our only hope. 
and turning this thing around. As I said earlier, the Radards see this failure as an Erhard failure. I have very little sway anymore with the Council or anyone in the Council, and I doubt he'd trust me enough to send his mother to a healer he's never met. Okay. I would if I could. I would agree if we could get her back up, that would be great, but I have very little sway anymore. Now, uh, thinking about Radia, as long as I continue my research with the staff, I want to try and... When my mother was in Kagovia, the dryad there gave her a special wooden uh, fragment. It was the one that allowed her to leave Sunmore and come directly to Kagovia, almost like a rune of... Almost like a miniature archway is, I guess, one person, one way to one place. I'm going to work on seeing if I can ever create another one like that. If I ever could, if there's any way to get something like that to Lottie, it might be an avenue for her to get away from the Baron. But that would have to be somebody infiltrating this disguise as one of Robert Baron's men or such. Research into that if you can, that's not and a bad idea. Be, we'd have to be very vague about it too. Um, um, can but, you find out where she is? Can you use your forest to get a rough area? We have no idea where she might be being held right now. If we can find uh, that, we might be able to mount a rescue. The f- well, the forest did tell me she was going to Taylor's, uh, to, um... Trello's Keep. Yeah. Was it called Taylor Keep, John? Yeah. Taylor. Taylor Keep. Yeah, Taylor Keep. Taylor? Taylor Keep? Tell not Taylor. Taylor. The force tell me, but I... Hmm. Say it again. Tell her. Tell her. Ta- tell her. Taylor. Taylor. Ta- Taylor. I don't know. Anyways, the <laughs> tea keep. <laughs> the, the, I told the Inquisitor it was one of my wood elves that alerted me to seeing Lottie being abducted, but it was the forest that said she was abducted and took him straight to there. Okay. So, if there's any movements, I can let you know of her. Do let me know, please. Um, I don't know. It won't be today, but soon I will need to take a trip to Bolano for supplies for herbs. No, Bolano is, is that... under rubber baron control now. You think they would do something to a healer? Definitely. They murder the merchants on the roads. They don't have many healers no. or doctors. They would take you and use you. They take you within mm. minutes. Think about it this way: you're okay. in the middle of a war zone, traveling light, mm. or if you think you're going to be free, uh, morals don't c- <sighs> count when it comes to these sort of things. Galeo's got it. Okay, that means I'm going to have to dis- I'm going to discuss things from this warfire because I was supposed to supply her with wood and stone from the wood elves to help Bolano because they needed wood and supplies to help fix their... I don't even think that's going to be possible anymore. No, Bolano was taken. We can't do anything with Bolano right now. We wouldn't be able to get there. We wouldn't be able to get through their lines. Gosh, that's going to make it even worse now. Because now they're in the hands of Robert Brand. It's going to make them look like they're the best thing ever. <sighs> yep. Hmm. Bloody really fucked us over here. <sighs> Let's see. The best thing you can do to help us okay, right now well. is to disseminate the information to anyone who asks, spread the rumors around and such. Puts me in a better light and then I have more power, more sway. Okay. okay. So it, was a... it was a difficult okay, fight, dope. but we inflicted casualties on them as they inflicted to us. We did yeah. the best we could without the Imperium support and we did well, all things considered, despite the losses, basically. Mm-hmm. Will do. Thank you. 
I will do the best I can. Uh, when will you be around your home later? Will you be here later this evening? I won't be able to leave Nautis unless I have an escort now, so I'll be around. Hmm. Good. If you need anything. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Just let me know if there's anything else, Strange. Do you think, uh, trapping them would slow them down? At least them going through the forest? That's what Anna has been doing with the rangers that are there, and some of the high elves. He's been trapping the forest in the areas. It slows them down and they lose a bit of manpower when they try to get through it. Mm. <clears throat> Alright, well. Hopefully y'all can maybe capture an officer or something of note, maybe. <sighs> Compared to Ladia, we officer. need a lot of them. Two thousand men <laughs> are being held at bay by them holding one understand. person. They're not going to give her away easily. I can send a fleet foot towards Tilly to keep. See if they can get through the lines. If not, they'll do what they can. Get as close as they can. Surveil it if you can. You don't need to do anything. Just if you see anything of her, if we can pinpoint where she is, then we can move from there. Don't risk them, though, too much. Uh, they would be moving light and fast. They know their orders. Good lad. Thank you, Glail. Mm. And do try oh, to keep some you. of your morals alive. Being a politician can be damning. Well, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. When I talk to you later, when I talk to you this evening, I uh, got something else to say about Lisa that I think you might like. So. Good news would be handy. <laughs> yeah, it was good news. If that's all. Oh, have you uh, seen Tang other today? Other than that. Uh, uh, he's yeah, around. He... Okay, good. Just checking. He is around. Yes. Uh, the proposition we talked this morning to help them. Fairly well. well. With the wood elf. Lord Erda, I'll head out and uh, see what I can find. How about the reconnaissance for the woods from us? Oh, uh, they already said they they had the high elves and mm. the other ones of uh, go go. He already has some rangers looking into it. Mm -hmm. Well, see what, what they come up with. Um, God, what was the other thing I was going to tell you? Um, oh, I did start uh, preparations on that. Special potion I showed you before went down, but I've begun again. Good. So as enough. soon as one is made, I will make. Yeah, I will make you aware. Thank you. <sighs> Go Thank forth, you for your my elf friends. Lord. Enjoy life. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I'll try to. These things become become more and more oh. complicated. Just so you're aware, the guards are going to start locking down the north road, so if you do need to get home, do it from the eastern side. Okay. Don't worry, Very well. we, have a, we have a way. I figured, just figured I'd let you know. There's ways to go that way. <laughs> well, we'll head to the apothecary shop and go ahead and start making some more stuff. Uh, uh, I'll holler at you later this evening, Mokaila. Yep. Ever so vigilant. There was one more thing I wanted to tell. Clovis approached me and gave me an idea that might be beneficial to a lot of us. He said I try to earn favor potentially them to come out my true self. Roja Hand. Go on. The vineyard apparently Clovis, he come across a nation. Vineyard is also backed by the man who 
decimated caused me to where I am now. I'm pretty sure there's information there regarding all of that. If I could bring that to a mem, as well as gift, show my usefulness to him, I may be able to back out. So. You need proof, and you need to wait. I know, now is not the time to do this, but it's still a thought. The vineyard under my control, money back into the coffer. The issue is that the person who owns the vineyard is from the Pecked lands, and if we take it from them, then we'll anger the Vapex. The theory is, once the robber baron has yes. been dealt with, the Vapex will invade, and when that happens, we obviously can't have Vapex people running that brewery. So if there was a time to act on it, that would be your time. I understand. I'll gather what I can. Plan to head over there soon to work my way up with the overseer. If we can't come to some kind of hard proof, hard evidence. Otherwise, it won't work. I know. Honest is still the ass end of nowhere. If someone wanted to hide something in a place where they aren't going to look, a vineyard would be the place. Then I wish you luck. Don't get fucking caught and beheaded. That would really suck. I've survived this long. I'm sure I'll be able to do it. Ah, hey Tang. Holding up okay? Yeah. Making modifications. Yeah, you look good. Good as new. Also, um, Vezrin wanted his sword back. I don't know if he managed to get to you yet. I already gave it to him. I am now weaponless, aside from my own body, and this, which I do not like using. That's a fucking weapon. You are it is weapon. a mining implement. One of the... It's one of the only things left I have of my fucking father, okay? I don't want to... Never mind. Fair enough. Um, if you get your hands on iron enough, I can make you a steel sword that would hold up to you. Do I have a deal for you? Come with me. Oh god. Five iron ore and five tin ore. I dropped it off yesterday. I see. Let me see. How much that this would cost. I wanted it to be a morning surprise. Thank you. It's the only good news I've had today, actually. I heard about what happened with the cross keys. Oh. <clears throat> yes. I think they were pushed back. The thing that people need to hear is that we fought them at Lottie has gone. nearly to a standstill without the Imperials' help. While we inflicted a lot of casualties on theirs, yes, we lost a lot, but we fought well. That's what people need to hear. And that is what I will tell them. Thanks, Tang. Morale needs to be high, otherwise it will not be good at all. They need a scapegoat I am more than this aware of what a broken spirit can hearts. do. 
You said four iron ore. Five iron. Five tin. Thank you. <clears throat> no. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to ask you how many iron it takes to make steel. Takes two iron ingots per steel bar. Which means we need ten iron ingots. Which... I it takes do. two iron to make a steel. Correct. Which I do have, but that would be pretty much all the iron we have. We'd be down to less than ten bars. <clears throat> well, it probably doesn't help that the other project I'm also thinking of is uh, also steel intensive. Yeah, steel is pretty fucked right now. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. If you can give me more, I'm going to sit down so I'm not making as much noise. But I'll do what I can. I'll scour the markets and see what iron we have. Thanks, Tim. To my knowledge, Venora has two bars as well. Uh, if you need to get it from her. Got it. Thank you. But in terms of the other project. <laughs> He tossed you a blueprint. Yes, um, hi, hello. I, uh, My name is Alejandro uh, Mendes. Oh, so cool, so cool. A lot of the mechanics go over your head, but what you can notice is written in common in the bottom right, annotated in notes by Tang. Grappling hook arm attachment. <laughs> we had more resources. Six steel ingots. Four leather. Iron. That's all I consider that. I, I know. Alright. Be safe. Frankly, I'm considering you making that before making the sword, but... <clears throat> one is more versatile. Hey, okay. She opens her mouth, pulls a single copper coin out of it. Copper? What about it? You want copper? You found it. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Bez. I need you to repair this long sword. It's a steel long sword that needs reforging. Half of it's what's the silvered one, but it only needs um, half the resources for a regular steel. I have Jensen's broken sword. Could you combine the two? Is her steel? Sorry, his steel. Right. It's completely broken, but... I figure you can at least melt down the scraps, forge it into the new one. I can do that. Let me know how much it costs. Sure. I'll get to work on it. And this. It's his boot knife, but it's just, just the handle. It looks like all of the iron has been melted away. We're really 
pretty fucked on iron right now, but I'll do my best. Right. Do we, uh... If you have any pre-made daggers, then I'll be happy to exchange it. I can lend you one. Hmm. I'll be alright. Just the sword. Alright. Do you want to talk about what happened or anything? You know, I'm around. Would you like a debriefing? Sure. I got one from Venora, but you know how Venora is. I do know how she is. Come on, I'll take you inside. I hope you don't mind if I sit and I've been on my feet all day. I prefer it. <sighs> I'll keep it brief. Traveled into, traveled into myth, Nith Mamalorian. The bridge that we took down from the entrance collapsed and we had no way back. We encountered ravening creatures, fought them tooth and nail most of the way through. We encountered elves led by the elven emissary. He Thanks to Tears Diplomacy, let us go through. Little did we know it was a trek. We fought our way through. By the end of that first day, at least what felt like day, we lost Tear. He was wounds. The second day, we pushed through. More and more of the city getting behind a portal of sorts, or rather a barrier. Long story short, we lost Jensen that day. Sacrificed himself to save El. We held ourselves up inside of this factory they worked on the warforged did Venora tell you how a warforged is made something about the if, if the door is open I'm just going to try and open it by the way go ahead come on in <clears throat> yeah. uh, something about souls and Taking them from humans, how they, they mistreated them. Yes. That's me. It's got a corned Thank beef, you. sauerkraut, cheese, a little bit of like a mustardy sauce, and rye bread. Hmm. It looks delicious. Hmm. I'm glad they had everything. So, it's, uh, I was recounting thing, the or, uh... mission debriefing. Oh. Right. You want half of this? No, I wouldn't take that from you. We discovered it's... down there that. 
this arcanist Zeno was the one who was creating these Warforged. There were a couple of counselors who were against it. Or rather, who were sent by Elysium to, to supervise. It seems like one of the counselors, Seleth, managed to not only survive the encounter, but tampered with the Warforged. It would seem that Seleth is the one who tampered with their coding, whatever it was that kept them in line and obedient. Made them like Strider. And then he disappeared. I see. It was after we were leaving that chamber after we had discovered what powered it and taken it for ourselves this staff that Venora has that that elven ambassador found us again cornered us demanded we give it over or we die fought tooth and nail one fought so bravely And that is when we lost Sarah. You sacrificed everything to save us. Yeah, I'm After not going to believe she's dead until I see a body. I would like to remain hopeful as well, but... From what I heard, it was a cave You think Illalaman's with... gonna let himself die in a cave like that? You think he'd save Sarah? Think he'd find her useful? Don't give me false hope, please. Oh, I'm sorry. We pressed on as the cabins fell around us. We had to run from building to building as some creature stalked us, hungry for the staff and for the lives of those that came down with us. We just knew that if it got a hold of us, there would be nothing that could be done. It was that sort of beast. And yet, it grabbed me. And I managed to blind it only for a moment. I thought I was dead, but I guess I've always been hard to kill. We managed to escape the caverns, barely. Found the remains of some elves and drow agents who had fought each other in the caves and died. And then... As we exited, more elven soldiers, men who escaped, they made the same demand that their emissary made. We did not back down. Morden paid the price for that fight. But we were fully successful. The staff was returned. The grove is alive. It has been returned to its former state. Costly. I 
And the deep, dark elven secret is no longer a secret. It's just who will believe us. We have a man from the Institute. Yeah. Who was there firsthand? Oof, we, we let him know. Or, well, no, we, we let uh, also one of the people that led us to that site know a couple of the things that we found there uh, from uh, Keep. So, one would expect the Radads. No. We left that a lot Scala, of information. Scala, what did you tell him? We left out a lot of information. Just about what? the elves, about the Warforged. That was it. Told him about the Nothing elves. To do with the Why not? Because the last thing we need is for Gradia to turn against the elves and side with the Empire. Hmm. Well, we'll see what happens. I will have to leverage my family status as a younger house. We didn't let them know about the elves that were there, like now, about the elves that before. That's what I'm talking about. I'm aware. Okay, was it like that's what the stuff we left out was the fact that Inlaman and all his people were there. Well, that is the gist of what happened. And how are you? Aside from the obvious. I am alive. I have purpose. Purpose is good. This um, <clears throat> defeat that we had today, because the Imperials weren't there, it's being put on the Urhards. We need to, if anyone asks you about it, tell them that while we suffered many losses, we dealt just as many to the Robber Barons. And we fought as well as we could and performed a fighting retreat. The current thing is, is that we just fucking crumbled. And if I don't have <clears throat> any sway anymore, then I can't keep pushing what we need to push. So, as you two are shop owners and merchants, if you could disseminate that between people, that would be very handy. Just if people ask. We can give it a try. Thanks. Now the truth, was it a crumbling defeat? Terrible. We had no Imperium there. We did the best we could. Arn was there, but we lost over a mile. We're back behind the cross keys now. Sergeant Fenton was going around telling people not to leave outside the north gate. That'll be closed down. Oh, come on. Come on in, Tang. I don't have a key. It's been opened. The door is open. <clears throat> it's bad. With Ladia captured, uh, 2,000 men on standby because they hold Ladia. I. I might be able to help with that. Do go on. <sighs> I'm. Well, it's been... I, I might be a little rusty. It's been a, lot, a long time, but I used to sp do a lot of espionage-type things 30 years ago. 
Mm hmm. So, if I could get uh, from the keep, maybe the Robert Baron signature, forge a couple documents, get some armor from the from like similar to his men, like sneak in there, do a little poking around, see what I can do. <sighs> The issue is that we're not entirely sure where she's being held. We believe she's being held at Tethor Keep. Now, because of the operation yeah. we did last time, their security is probably tripled. Yeah, that's why it would just be me. You know, blending in. And how would you get her out? Oh, we gotta get the information first. That will come later. What information would be handy enough where times when rotation guard rotations everything how they're treating her you know maybe Benora is working on Remember that time Ian Dill, in the middle of a fight, just... Venora is working on something that might have that effect. Something small, a little token, a rune on it. If you could sneak in, get that to Ladia. That might be a play. I don't know her limitations on it, though. She's still figuring it out. Yeah. I don't know how long that it would take. It would be a long ways off if we were even able to do it. The current plan, and this stays here, is that Arn is going to perform a fighting retreat to slow down the Rob Baron's men while trapping the Sabine forest to slow them down even more. He's going to fight retreat to the embassy which is being emptied today, as per the Robber Baron's request. Arn will hold the embassy, which will stop the Robber Baron from pushing up his siege equipment, which should stop him from attacking Nortis directly. He can hold that for some time, but I don't know how long. If Venora can figure out that thing in that time, this might be a play. Hmm. Make the preparations that you can if you need signatures, see if you can find them, if you need equipment, see if you can procure them. Don't do anything too overt, we don't want anyone knowing that we're doing this, even the barons. If you can, right. if you have any sort of information that could help Venora figure this out faster. <sighs> Also, you talked with the Robert Baron. The, the, is there anything specific we should know about him? Or? He's really interested in magical artifacts. Does he have your ability? I don't think so. Okay, so I can bring stuff with me. Okay. <sighs> Even if he did, we could try and do it at a time he's not there. Maybe we could communicate with Arn, get him to launch a fake offensive, draw him to the front. While that happens, eyes are elsewhere, you sneak in, hand the thing to Ladia, sneak out. She and appears wherever it is. Well, wouldn't that be convenient? <sighs> That's the only way I see us getting out I still would highly recommend working on a plan A that doesn't involve the creation of an artifact. <sighs> we have no other plan A. <sighs> if Venora can't get this artifact, then... 
I guess you sneak in, gather what information you can, see if it's even viable to send a rescue party. That's all I have. Wait, is... <sighs> the Viper owes me a favor. It's that other drow guy that showed up in our shop that one day, right? One and the same. I'm hesitant to use him. But if he owes you a favor, if you would burn it on this and you could be sure that he achieves it. That could be a final plan if we can't achieve what we need to achieve. Very well. Plan C. Plan C. Okay, this is good. This is better than 20 minutes ago. Okay. If you need information on how it is progressing, I'm able to keep in touch with Venora and see how she is going. I was Just getting in touch with making things like that. Correct. I really wouldn't. I wouldn't rely on that. But uh, it's good to know. As it's would I. She doesn't know how to use the power that she is currently, well, holding. And she needs time in order to do that. Correct. So for now, try and think of a tactile plan A. One that would be viable without the creation of if, new items or risking favor. If I could see in the dark and had the ability to knock people out some kind of alchemical means would make it a lot easier to go in and get her out. The issue is, again, Tylor Keep is, their security is way tighter than it is before. Even if you do that... Yeah, but that's like... You need to get... For an assault. Are they going to expect one idiot to go in It wasn't even an assault. The front door? It was a sneak in. There was three of us there. That's what they... Fuck. Yeah. That's what they're prepared for. They've already been infiltrated once. That's what I mean. And even if you did get in there, you have to get Ladia out. And Ladia has this fucking thing where she starts to freak out and forgets where she is. That would just compromise everything. Luckily, she's small. Get the, we get the thing from uh, Torty. Pendant, she throw it around her neck, away. throw her in a bag, and drag her out. Then after she that, you need to get that. through however many miles it is from Telor Keep to Nortis, all of which is basically robber baron lines. Hmm. Shouldn't be a problem. Closest way from there would be getting to the, the, the channel. Possibly a boat. Just waiting. It would have to be at night, too. We could set a boat. Okay, do the preparations you need to do that, because either way... You're gonna need to do that. Hmm. Keep it low-key. I'll talk to Ven Venora and see if we can... figure something out that we know would work. Do either of you have a way... <sighs> Fuck it. You can see in the dark, I can't. Does anybody know, like, There's that potion heard potion that. people... Yeah, who has it? Wainwright sometimes... Oh, Night Stalker potion. Can she make them now? She can make them? If she can, O'Shawn might. I don't think so. Failing that, um, Wainwright sometimes brings them in. Um, but someone has been buying them up immediately from the merchants. Quarry crates of them. So... I'll look into that a bit too. Crates... We have a contact in the Merchant's Guild, don't we? Yeah. <sighs> well, who's buying them up? Possible Dread Knives. Oh, no. <clears throat> I 
I think the simplest option is using the Viper, but rose me the wrong way, you know. I I know you who um, have history with them. Like maybe I could talk to him. He seemed to, you know. Vezra owes him the favor. Oh, sorry, he owes Vezra the favor. I should say. Yeah. Well, I could just have a nice discussion with him, see what happens. If you get into debt with this guy, hire him instead of using the favor. Just ask him if he's got any of those uh, potions, maybe. He's a drow, he doesn't need him. He's likely to go and ask for something from you in return. Yeah, but he's got friends that aren't drow. Like True. The one that uh, pushed me back into uh, our place of business. And you can't say that they can see in the dark. True. I'm sure they have those potions. If you're, They're probably the ones buying them all up. If you're willing to put yourself into that sort of... He'll want something from you, so just expect that if that's the case. Yeah. Depending on how valuable these potions are to them, it might be something exceedingly dire. Hmm. Push comes to shove, Bertrand uses his favor. I have a question. Ask you him. and your father have access to the keep now, yes? Correct. Does the... Do the Radards have a family crypt of sorts? I don't know. I haven't seen it. That place is a fucking maze, though. I could look around a bit. Why is that? Why? You're not going to do any grave digging, are you? No. Simply... Well... I'm not sure how to put this. If you could ask a man who their killer was and if they knew the answer, wouldn't that simplify things? <sighs> talking about ghosts? Uh, sorry, when you talking about actually talking to dead people? Just a thought. And how, pray tell, are you going to do this, Vezridan? Is it a trinket you found, or what? Well, first I'll simply ask. What exactly would you ask? Okay. Someone at the door. Who was your murderer? Okay, and what's the best case scenario? We find out who really killed Jolda. And that would help us in this particular situation, how exactly? Don't get me wrong, it's a burning question, but... <sighs> I'll ask if they have crypts, I guess. I... Is it such a bad thing that body is being held hostage if the man that's holding her hostage was truly loyal to Jildar? It doesn't matter if he's loyal to Judah, he's not loyal to the Barons right now. Let's not all pretend that we are either. Okay. No, but unfortunately they back us, and we're in their camp now. Alright, I'll ask to see if there's that's the case, that way we can proceed to move from there. You get together what you need to do. Let me know if you need any help with that. 
If you can do any research on helping Venora at all. I don't know if you have books on that kind of thing. I'm going to talk to Venora, see if she can figure something out. If not, we'll look at other means. Right now, put ourselves in a position. Everyone good? Hmm. All right. It's the information gathering phase. <sighs> Yay, team. Hey, Aka. Everything okay? <laughs> I write. Bartholomew. Uh, follow me, the pirate. Will you see him? You... He died? He died at the embassy. Yep. Why? When? Did you drink ink? Just checking. Carry on. If he was executed at the embassy, um, I don't know what they would do with him. Me. Talk to them? I suppose I could. What do you want to do with his body, though? You want to look at it? You want to see it. You don't think he's dead. Okay, um, I'll ask around then. I'm not really in great favor with the Imperials, though. Apparently Torty saw it happen. Have you talked to her? Can you talk to Torty? You want me to talk to her about Um, yeah. Torty talked to the Imperials. You look... You want me to ask to see if you can see his body? I... Don't know how that would go down. Did you know him? You were a friend of his. Okay, I will request it next chance I get. How about that? Alright. I need to find some people. I'll do what I can, Arka, okay? If not, I'll at least try and figure out where his body is.
Did you see by any chance Venorara? Look like shit. Are you okay? Uh, playing 25 copper. If you wanted. Mm. 25 copper. Okay. Do what work? The per hour? For the day. So like, if you're untrained. At what market set up? Left your bond to his legacy. I yeah. thought I'd be using yeah, like surprise, so... <laughs> Fuck me. I could usually hear him. Well, I mean, that's fair, yeah, but still you think hey. you'd have, like, Everything okay? and all that? If there's, if there's a uh, this is not sunny. <laughs> that's why you're able to pet it. It's, this is a lost horse. I don't know who it belongs to, but someone caught it, I guess. Hmm. Looks... I mean, this is a kind of a... Yeah, no, it... Yes, everyone who brings uh, in carts, fucking horses to try and get I'm getting get people to help build the wall gets... later today. Smart. Maybe in the evening. I still think Good you job. should, like, go, if, go to, like, the stable. Uh, but for the afternoon, I'm keeping, keeping myself available in the open, just in case. What point is there a stable, e even if there are a whole bunch of people that thing, man. Cards, how about you? And all here. Looking for how are things on your end? You know how many I mean, horses that come around on two... Cabra, he's been busy as fuck. Um... Is he around? Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna let you know right now. I. Oh, do you need him? Um, do you need Gerber right now? Uh, if he's around, it's not anything, super super duper urgent. If he's so doing other things, then I'll find him later. No worries. Ah, uh, he might be. He might be doing other things. Yeah, it's fine. I'll yeah. find him when I find him. No stress. Well, good luck with your new horse. Sure. <laughs> not mine. You have a horse now, Marcus. I no. have a war horse, that's sunny. But I've got no, this is someone, no, this is someone's lost horse. It, it. Oh? Yeah. Wait. Hold on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. What? Hi. Never seen someone on the table before. You. What the fuck have I told you about getting on the furniture? No, he likes to feel tall. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What the fuck? You want to talk to me, Torty? Thank you, Lord, Lord Erdhart. Oh, I'm hearing that a lot today. Uh, yes. Well, kind of. I was just letting you know. Um... There's a lot of people here. Uh, Garbam is uh, antsy to do stuff, so if you ever are in meetings, include them in so he can have a chance to I was to actually help. looking for him, but uh, he's busy right now. So oh. if you see him before hey. I see him, let me know. Uh -oh. What the fuck is happening? What was that shouting? What's that? What's going on out there? Imperials. I want to talk to... Major? Oh, good talk, sir. I think you found There's the owner of the right horse. Now, man <laughs> <laughs> Shit! What?! My lord. You're kidding me! What I believe I saw Sir Axter take the lost horse that we had out here, and they went the north, out of town. They escaped. Fuck, he's probably going for Lordio. God! Oh, I didn't know that! Oh, fuck. I didn't know. Damn it. Okay, then. We were tr retrieving. Oh, what? Oh, shit. <sighs> oh, okay. What kind of horse is this? What kind of horse is this? What kind of horse is this? Was it like a brown, a gray? I don't know. Black. Brown. You were good? Okay. If they Dude, stole my horse, I was going to be fine. Yeah, just love it. Oh, the north road. There's not many places from the guy. Yeah, we're a dull moment, the so. Fuck. Going on. Never a dull. Well, came running out of the clinic, got on a horse, and just. Well, the Baron told him. Son of a bitch. Fire on the man. So obviously he was not supposed to be in there. Oh no. Stay away from finding out what happened. I like to know what's going on so I can figure out how to avoid it. Interesting what I've heard. God damn it. I wonder if it's retaliation for what happened to Lodia. Don't fuck around and find out. Nobody's loyal to anyone. What happened? Someone ran out of the embassy, got on a horse, and then <laughs> fucked off. Fuck you. 
so extra, they think. Oh, okay. What happened? Uh, damn it. Oh, oh, oh no, not Zaraxter. I'm here. I'm oh, here oh, from earlier. Zarax, clear them all out. No civilians are to come nearby. Seal all the windows. Find out where that man is. Go on, everyone. Let's go. Right. 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 Uh, I will say I did see him earlier next to a horse, talking to um, talking to one of the Imperials. <sighs> he might be losing his shit over Ladio being taken. I don't know. He colluded. He must have colluded. He was um, talking to him off to the side. I didn't listen to what they were talking about. They were in the open, but not in the open, if that made sense. But they were talking to one another, and all of a sudden, this happens. I have no clue what the problem is. What he did, I have no clue, but... I don't know. It's none of my business. Seems like imperial business. Indeed. I wonder if it was retaliation for what happened to Ladia, but mere speculation doesn't help anything. No, I'm sure we'll find out eventually. A bit. He doesn't seem himself. Pillows. He's only so far a man can push himself, I guess. Okay. Yeah. There's, go sure. there's no, going to be a lot of force being put into them, so they need to be soft enough that they're. <clears throat> I don't know any details of what really happened down there. All I know is who didn't come back and the nature of such. I wonder if that's what's gotten to him. You've seen a lot of faces come and go. I really oh, assume yeah. that's it. A lot of people he really cared about didn't come back. He was a person in charge too. He probably blames himself, even if it's not the case. Yeah, pretty much. So if it's four leathers, four silvers. That's all I can guess. I though. might consider talking to him, but um, I'm not sure what my word is worth to him. Appreciate it. I think that's not. Didn't seem too comfortable talking to me, so maybe you can get through to him. I don't know. Hmm. Hello. Make way. I take some sort of. Well, it's uh, extra fled, by the way. He fled north. I can only imagine where he's at it. Yep. That's not really good news. Not hard to assume. No. Best of luck to him, I guess. But also lingering out in front of the Imperial Clinic is not exactly the best idea at the moment. No. Yes, good luck to him, but what if this affects all of us? What can we do right now? It wouldn't be good. To pick up the shit that falls. I don't know. <laughs> I'm waiting any moment. I have to do something. <sighs> Would you mind if I had a quick word, or are you busy? Go ahead. Behind the door. Alright, come with me then. I only ask because you're one of the sneakiest people I know. Oh, no. No, it's not for what you think. It's not a chair conversation. I was just gonna ask you two questions. God damn. Yeah, but I'm tired. I've been on my feet all day. Go ahead. Fair enough. So, inside of those ruins, 
I found these. He tosses over what seems to be a very light piece of plate. Okay. What is this? Warforged scout armor. Figured out that I'm compatible with it. And what does that mean? It means I don't have to be the heavy son of a bitch that I usually am. Interesting. <clears throat> so... If I was to test this out at some point, I was wondering if I might be able to get you weigh in. See how actually viable it would be for scouting purposes. Sure. I can already tell that it's much lighter than the plate that I have on right now, so likely my joints and limbs would not be as strained. It would be quiet, or not sure how quiet. But... Yeah. Those blueprints that I showed you, they were for a grappling arm. Mm -hmm. To be used in tandem with this armor. Lighter variations of Warforged. Probably makes them scale walls in a couple of seconds instead of what usually would take a few minutes. <laughs> but I had already run this by Markle, at least. He seems sneaky. I was wondering if I should keep that particular armor set private or find out got some other way to, well, chances are if I put on a new outfit, nobody's going to tell who I am anymore. <clears throat> that might actually play in our favor sometimes. I'd say definitely keep it to yourself. Fair enough. I was going to test this out outside of the bounds of town. There's usually a place that Venora goes to make sure that nobody interrupts her herb gathering. It's a bit out of the way. Yeah, let me know and I'll... Um, if possible, I would like your way in to see yeah. how capable it is. I'll be there. There is one issue, though. At the moment, I can't get back into my normal armor. I tested it out with a couple of pieces already last night. I was able to get my arms, parts of my legs, and my head, at least. But the heavier plates are difficult to maneuver around my body without an extra set of hands. So, if I go into the armor, I'm going to need somebody's help to get back out of it. I can do that, if you need me. Were you able to lift up 150 pounds? Nope. But I can drop to the floor. Then you can't. The issue isn't dropping it to the floor. I can get into the armor on my own. Getting out of it back into this. Wow! Well, it's very light. <gasps> <laughs> no. Getting, it, getting out of it and back into my heavy armor. That takes somebody of uh, substantial strength. I've been thinking about an apparatus that'll help me get in and out of it, but... Don't have that yet. No. At the very least, I just need an extra set of hands that can lift up a heavy weight. Which is what I ran by Aegon for. Fair enough. The man carries about three different weapons. Pretty sure he can carry my brass plate. Aegon, Dredge... I could build you a little Warforged friend, maybe. A little squire. Yeah, I'm I'm sure I could make a tiny little Warforged like what we saw in Elry. <clears throat> tiny little man with maces for hands. Ooh. That'll help me get into armor. Or like clamps. Get have clamps for hands. I was already thinking of some kind of an apparatus that I would be able to have powered by the water mill. Lift it up, hook it back onto myself, something like that. But that takes resources, which we don't have. So, for now, 
I just need somebody big and burly to hook it back on. Yeah. But just trying to figure out how to go about it, because currently I'm able to change into the light armor at any time. But if I want to keep it private, I'm not sure if the addition of my cloak would help or hurt matters. I suppose it wouldn't hurt. I'm just trying to figure out if I should only use the light armor when I have the cloak as well, or if I can just roam around with it on its own. Depends if you want people to know that you have that such armor. Never show people your full hand. Always keep a cut up your sleeve. Yeah. One of those cards got me screwed out of a job. They usually do. Come at a price. You remember how Kovaz nobly charged in to take the quarry back from the robber baron? <sighs> and how he publicly humiliated me by saying I didn't help? Yep. The thing is, I did help, but... <clears throat> yeah, I would talk to them if I could. But I don't have any sway anymore after today. At the very least, if it comes up in one of the noble meetings about the fact that the Darway have left, and that inc probably includes the miners that Morden had put inside of the quarry, they need somebody to work. They need somebody to reinforce their walls. I'll bring it up if they so ask. At the very least. Yeah. You can bring me up as a boon to a mem, because Kovaz gives less shits about the county than anybody else. Yep. He might walk among the people, but he doesn't really care. Anyway. If you have a free moment, I might as well grab you and Aegon and go outside of the walls for a few minutes and see what this armor can do. Yeah, yeah, if you want to do that now, we can do that. Now? If you want, or later, or... We can do it now. It's the only time I'm free. Probably gonna be pulled into things later as well. Probably. I'll see what's going on, and... If nothing is going on, come and grab me. We'll just head outside and see what's go what we can do. Yeah. Might as well see if this conversation is done. Where is everyone? I don't know. Um, I do have something to tell you. Over here. I already have enough- <clears throat> I already have enough proof to basically say that all the wine they produce there is fake. And not of their own creation. You have hard evidence? I saw. I saw the recipe myself. It bears my family's crest. Okay. Bye, 
out of time for now. Once Give me some time, though. Yeah, rubber baron thing settles. We can move on it. Not just that. I've, I've promised I'd make a small batch of a recipe from my book. With that, I'm going to try to lay the idea that the Overseer came up with a new recipe, something to improve upon what Sarkozy already has. With that, I could slip in. Do what you gotta do, just be careful. And I always... No. <laughs> so that's why this will work. Best of luck. Has that rock always been there? Litvig was just poured in, pulled into the infirmary by change. They're charging him with theft and traitorism. As to what, I don't know. <laughs> yep, I know. I know. Dude, you joke about like DLC like all that. All too familiar sound of marching feet in front of you. Good day, Lord Rivard. Good day. Who me on who that is? Let's talk. Ludwig, the, one of the surgeons, ran, sprinted out of that room. Yes, being as there was a large contingent of guards. Oh God, there really are too many years to do this. Contract to protect every now and then. <sighs> Ludwig thought it'd be a smart idea to run out of that clinic while. Those men were trying to arrest him, especially Major Dario, saying he was a robber baron supporter, saying that he was killing the men in the clinic for said robber baron. He tried to escape to Miss Venora's. He didn't tell me what was going on, so I said, all right, I'll go get her. Tried to bring them over. 
But as they were are one to do, they asked me, saying, Hey, he's Ludwig is killing a lot of people. Where is he? I said he'd meet me at the Miss Venora's, the apothecaries. <sighs> he tried to evade arrest, and eventually they found him, because the Radard's soldiers went upstairs to the second floor and found him there. They got a warrant for his arrest immediately, without question, and they tagged him. <sighs> and we have Sir Exter just before that stealing medical supplies and weapons from the clinic. Took the horse that I was trying to get to someone, I didn't know who it belonged to, and he fled town. And he went north. So that's the current situation. Alright. Venora and the others there. Ludwig okay? is going to be tried as a robber baron uh, supporter. Yes, the others are alright. They were just questioned why he would go there of anyone in town. But I think they're clear. Okay. I feel like I fucked up, man. I, I you didn't know. No. You couldn't have done anything different. Don't blame yourself. No. Hey, Tom. So the situation's a bit muddied. Here. Yes. <laughs> right. And feel free to get it. Um... So the Dodd men are out and about now, at least the Royal Guard, <clears throat> but they should be heading up to the keep. Got it. Thanks for the update. I need to take a second upstairs, yeah. I'm gonna go scream into a pillow. <laughs> I am very sorry. The arrest of Ludwig. I know, I think I was the reason. I have to take a second chat. Let's walk around a little bit. My feet didn't disconnect. That's a nice change. It's the little things, chat. Ah, fuck, they did disconnect. <laughs>
All right. Back into the fucking fray. We truly are in like the darkest point. <laughs> There's just fuck up after fuck up after fuck up. I haven't fucked up, and I'm copying the brunt of it. <laughs> They're inside. They're talking. If you're looking for Venona, she's inside. Lord Edhart. Thank you. Good to see you. Mind if I go in? Go. Oh, jeez. The door's not locked. If you, you can get through, you want to go in there. You can. You could just go in. I assumed it was because it's closed. No, because I came out of it. Before I go in, actually, I need to talk to you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like doing? a fucking cat. You open the door, it's like, nah, I don't want to go in anymore. Yeah, uh, fucking. <sighs> Even then. Where's your father? At the front, currently. Okay. I guess about by in the, in the Are you able to send a message to him? All places. Depends on what it is. I don't know where he is. Desperate. It all depends on the way looking, because he was one of the ones that's been here for a while with Sanders and stuff. <sighs> been close to watch the people he's worked with for years that, you know... I plan on joining him. ...murdered or mer nearly murdered. Mm -hmm. My father. And he was, no, was around the ladio. Oh, I will. to help him. They just went upstairs to talk for a second <clears> before <throat> they go in. You're not going crazy, don't worry. He, without going into military details, yeah. is about to put himself in a position he's not going to be able to leave for a long time. If you do help him, so you'll be stuck there for oh God. Oh no, are you dead? No. maybe weeks, no. Come back. days at least. No. No. Oh no, oh no, yep, no. they're gone. Dead elf. Why the uh, sudden fervor? Who else is capable? <laughs> so, I know the feeling. The cavalry. Well, between you and me, and only between you and me, <clears throat> he's going to work on a fighting retreat and position himself in the embassy since the Imperiums are leaving it right now. It's going to be a siege. He's going to have to hold out there for as long as he possibly can. So if there's any consolation, cavalry won't be used. But him being there stops the rubber baron from I'm good against. pushing up his siege engines to attack Nautus proper. Hi, sorry, don't mean to interrupt. Uh, Venora is impassionedly waiting for the stuff she needs to actually make potions right now that you have. <laughs> is it the claws? I believe so. She's waiting for you, that's all I know. <laughs> Ten units of course. Ten units? Perfect. Okay. Sorry for interruption. <clears throat> I didn't hear anything. Uh, 
How exactly is that gonna help? All the Robert Baron has to do is stage a portion of his men there and start pushing for Nordis. He can push, but he can't bring up his siege engines out of risk of him sallying out. He won't do it. His siege engines are his big trump card here. That and obviously having Ladio. Apparently Exter has done something. Yeah. I don't know exactly what, but he's... Find us a clone. Is the apothecary open? Why are people doing foolish things? I just fuck. I, 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 I know. <laughs> Everyone's doing fucking stupid things, fucking it up, and then we have to deal with the consequences. I have to deal with the consequences. Trust me, I'm fucked off too. Okay. Take your time with going Do you have any plans to do something? I do. I need to talk to Venora first, though. That's actually why I'm here. I have a few yeah, ideas. Yeah, what? Only when we're inside. This kind of operation wouldn't be allowed from the Imperium or the Barons, so... <sighs> you wouldn't happen to know somebody that's sneakier than you, would you? <clears throat> That's plan C. If you wish to speak with Vinoda, no, go ahead. Yes. Uh, well, you know what? Why don't we just come back another time then? It seems that we've come in at quite the inconvenience. Should we go in? Okay. I apologize. I don't know if they're still privately talking or not, but. I'm a lord, I go where I please. Oh, okay. That door's locked, I was going to say. She just came out of it. And then they went back in. You wouldn't think they would have. You're right. Alright, let's go down. Too bad we don't have lockpicks. God, if only. <laughs> uh, do you have those uh, knives? Yeah, they're done. They're at the forge. Have you started on them? It only takes a, only two knives. They're oh. tiny. Take a, take a no time at all. Also, I dropped off my hoe. I saw. It's She's broken. very nice. It's broken. How broken? When the guards tried to use it like a shovel, it fell off the handle, and it's chipped on the edges. I can repair that. That should only take like one iron or something. I'll get working on that. Yeah, I'm sending the bill to the god. Um, we're gonna go here. We're going to Soma's house. You know, I want to follow. You're welcome to follow because I haven't seen Soma's new house. People been coming Soma's over house here, and yet. we want some privacy. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> what the? F so much fucking people. It's a good people. thing that. It's a good thing that Basil gave me the extra key. Otherwise. We can go talk there. That we can sit and relax. You know, I can come too as well. You know, I, Re I relax. What is this word, Venora? I've only been in there for a few minutes. What is that word? I don't know. What, what, is, it, what does this what mean? It? <laughs> no, it's. Is this elvish? <laughs> no, it's filling in the oh. gaps. That sounds like elvish. And also, Shriek. If I can get a favor from you. Oh. I need a unit of ironwood. If you hear of any way that has a ironwood, it's for something. Yes. Okay, I'll keep an ear open. Ironwood, what? I've never come across it before in my life. <laughs> because you can only Implying I don't know where everyone fucking lives already. Alright. Mm, it's very nice.
Huh. Very small. Oh, she's we only got the downstairs. Nine donors upstairs. Oh. Yeah, but still, she got a nice little kitchenette for herself. <laughs> it's not for them, oh, apparently. Second floor, she said, is the landlord. Mm -hmm. The landlord. Oh. Landlords. Lord of the lands. Right, landlord. <laughs> yes, of course. Under a silver, um, about 86 copper exactly. <laughs> it's very good here. Yeah. I like your That's painting. No huh. mm. uh, I make tea for everybody now. Uh, Doctor, it's <laughs> fine I um, use your much things to make tea. How much was it for your fangs? I don't mind. Carl's fangs? How much total? 90 copper. Okay. Oh, she's a little bag. <laughs> All right. Still oh, already, place like this. I've already explained <coughs> the majority of it. Everybody already knows me. Yeah. Uh, already explained a lot to uh, uh, Lord Ardhart Kyler there. You just want to. Someone's wanting to get caught up to speed of what happened down there. I, I guess nobody's told him anything of kind of the. Other than the I people mean, who have yep. passed. Okay. Okay. Well, short version, to make it very short. <sighs> Found, because I'm done crying at this point. Crying's not going to do any good. We found piles and piles of, well, through the whole ordeal, we saw twisted elves, twisted, probably twisted humans from the magic that was down there. Uh, a forward-armed beast that tried to grab us and kill us. And some monstrosity of a monster that looked like a snake like I don't know what it was it came out of the giant hole where the whole city collapsed uh, um, Sarah okay. described it as a Empty. giant monster of the underdog she's never seen before thank you it just looked at us as a curiosity not of you know animosity or food or anything and it just went back down it didn't bother us so we you know went back through it head was the there size was two of those points. ships. Yeah. You ready to go fight all those? Bigger than a cast. Bigger than a cast. I don't want to fucking go down there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. We ran into two different areas down in this depth. That there was a bunch of iron cages everywhere. Piles and piles of bones of children. Men, women, women, children of human. Where the high elves of the past enslaved them, used them as cattle, treated them as beasts. They used and experimented on them. You remember, have you seen Strider? I've only met him once. Okay. And from what I was told by Tang. Yeah, through this I don't know what to deal think when we're. Oh, when we were down here during this whole ordeal, you've pretty much seen, you've probably seen ghosts before, right? Well, these were apparitions that everybody could see. It was like everything had stopped in time and was replaying itself. So we could see everything that took the downfall of Nith back in the first era and before. So we saw what unfolded.